Okay, folks, welcome back to Magical Diary. Okay, I am ready. I have got my beer. I am, um, so I don't have anything other than my cheap ass wand here. No, I do not. My diary, and um, Jacob, Shiny Rocks. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm done. Oh, Spellbook. Okay, I've got all these, all these cool spells here that I'm learning. Alright, let's pick my week. Morning! Happy Thanksgiving! Uh, uh, huh? But it's Colum? No. It's not that day. Not here. Well, good for y'all. Why not? That guy caused a lot of trouble. We don't say his name. <laughs> My fault. I should have told you guys earlier. The way the native people and the newcomers mi mixed out is a little different than it is for the non-magical history. We have strong ties, is what my mom says. Sacred smoke takes, like, a fourth of all the magical students in the U.S. And around here, the local spirits were dealing with them way before us. So a lot of our rituals and celebrations come from them. No, no, that's good. So this is Thanksgiving? Not really. I was kidding. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. You're Southern, so you don't notice it as much. Well. Oh. Stumbelda is a Canadian expert. Anyway, what should I do this week? Okay, let's see. I need... I'm getting stressed. So, I think I'm gonna take Friday off. Actually, no. I'm gonna take Wednesday off. Um, I need to learn red, and I need to learn blue. And let's see. Study. I'm not gonna sleep on Friday. Hell no. Um, let's do white. Hi, buddy. Done. Red magic. Yay! Oh, got a new spell. And I just clicked right past it. Tuesday. Blue magic. Yay! Ah, silence. Cool. True sight. Cool, cool. That's a good one. Sleep. Yay, I'm, I'm, I'm de-stressed. Studying. Wow, this is a dull week. White magic. Damn, I am throwing down this week. Oh, communication, cool. Well, this week is pretty uneventful. On Saturday morning, the mail and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? Let's see, I need to study. I need to get some uh, extra credit here. The library is fairly quiet, but familiar faces are still present. I study with Minnie. Minnie helps me out with my black magic. Black magic and smarts increase by one. Stress increases by four. But uh, the extra credit? Okay. Well, I'm going to do another week, because that was pretty dull. Hey, guys. I thought I should warn you. The next exam is Friday. But the end of the month isn't until next week. Don't look at me. I don't make the rules. Will it be like the first one? Nothing doing. This time they drop us in a pit full of alligators and we have to fight our way out. Virginia, you are so full of shit. You are such a liar. It's not a lie if it's funny. Where do you get this idea? Yeah, but do you know anything real? Well, I'm pretty sure we'll be in the dungeons, because pretty much all the exams are, but I don't know what they're going to make us do. William said that after the first time, we have to cast real spells we learned in class so we can't just fake it with wild magic. Hmm, so we better know enough spells. What should I do this week? Alright, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cram red and green and black and study and go to gym. I'm not taking a day off this week. Screw that noise. Red magic. Woohoo! Green magic. Please, kids and cubs, take your seats. There are some things we should talk about before your magical education progresses any further. Most of you know yourselves as either a boy or a girl, and that identity may be important to you. Wait, is this going to be sex education? <sighs> when a witch and a wizard love each other very much... Oh, God. But even with humans, sex is not always as simple as male or female with nothing in between. Oh, cool. 
And in the magical world, there are many possibi more possibilities which you should be aware and respectful of. Guess not. Well, actually, um... Some entities are sexless and will be confused if you address them by masculine or feminine terms. Some can change gender roles at will, or be both at once. Some beings have more than two sexes. All of which can be difficult for the English language to cope with. Many living beings will take offense to being referred to as it, though not all. It is wise to ask those you meet how they prefer to be addressed. To make things easier, we witches and wizards have our own special pronouns to use when gender is other or unknown. Repeat after me. E, M, Er, Ers, Emself. And if I slaughtered the pronunciation of any of those, I apologize if anybody uses those. I am having the strange syllables along with the other students, feeling a bit confused. Here's a way to remember. Someone with enough magic can say whatever E wants. Success. Okay. Oops. Hey. Oops, I got a spell, but I just clicked right through it. Yeah, yeah, I successfully opened up a book and looked at it. Ding Jim. Yes. Okay. Exam time. Virginia is taking gym class today, too, but she seems unusually quiet. You okay? Huh. Yeah. Are you done? With class? Yeah, I guess. Let's go back. There's something in my eye here. I follow beside her, but even her footsteps seem subdued. Something is wrong. I'm just thinking. We return to our room, and she sits on her bed with a sigh. When you were little, what did you want to be when you grew up? I don't know. I don't think I ever settled on one thing in particular. What about you? I wanted to be a professional athlete. I wanted to play in the Olympics and be on TV and have my face on cereal boxes. But I knew what I had to grow up to be was a witch. Can't you do both? No. It's not allowed. Witches aren't allowed to be athletes or rock stars or anything. Anything that might make them famous. Anything that might make them seen. Once we get our magic, we're not allowed to compete with the people who don't because they'll think they think we'll cheat. Or because we might get excited and do magic by accident. I don't want to be a witch. Magic is boring. I want what I always wanted. But I can't have it. I see why she's frustrated and why she didn't want there to be any magic at the sports club. But there's something I don't understand. If you don't want to be a witch, then why are you? I mean, you made the choice, right? Couldn't you have just said no? The choice doesn't work the same way if you're a born witch. What do you mean? For you, it's like, choose magic. Choose to jump through all these hoops to prove you're good enough to be a witch, or choose to say no and they take your magic away forever, right? Right. What do you think happens to a wild seed who says no? They don't get to be witches? How do you think they make sure nobody tells anybody about magic? Um... They take away your magic and your memory so you never even know you... Bleh, you never know you even had the choice. You never know magic existed. Your life goes on like it was. They wipe your memory? That's not very nice, but... That's putting it mildly. It's all secrets. Nobody who isn't magical is allowed to know about magic. You have to forget. So if you're born magic, if your family is magic... To forget about magic, you'd have to forget your whole life? How would that work? But they're not gonna kill you, are they? Of course not. They'd send me away. They'd make me forget my friends, my family, everything. They'd give me a new life somewhere else where I could be normal. And they'd make sure I never came back. She sighs. I choose my family, but I'm not happy about it. That sucks. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's life, right? I guess. Wow, that is bullshit. At the appointed time, I make my way to the testing room. Oh my god, we didn't even have a cram session this time. What the hell? I'm not sure why they send us to a specific room anyway, if they're just going to teleport us into the dungeon when we get there. Unless this time it will be different? Nope, doesn't look like it. Once again, I find myself in the dungeon, but this time in a larger area, facing a deep, dark hole. 
Greetings, Stumbelt the Stumpekin. Behold the abyss. You will find the exit to this dungeon on the other side. This dungeon level is now warded. You may not teleport outside of this dungeon level. You must cross the abyss in order to succeed. You may choose to surrender at any time, and you will be retrieved from the dungeon safely. However, you will fail your exam and receive demerits. Good luck. So, now what? Movement and spell casting commands. Can we see on the left side? Okay. Examine. I'm going to check out this pile of rocks. A small amount of stone loosely piled. Uh huh. Abyss? You see nothing. A great deal of nothing. You can't even make out the bottom of the pit. The floor is exactly what it seems to be. Walls are exactly, exactly what they seem to be. Okay. I'm going to uh, actually look around here. There's nothing that way. Let's see. Open spellbook. Um. I don't think push object is going to help much. Inspection, true sight. I don't think any of that's going to work. Let's try true sight here. That might be an illusion. Don't be prepared to be any illusions here. Okay. Actually, hold up. Close the spell back. Stone is a pile. Okay. Let's see. Forward. Aha! Examine bridge. A sturdy bridge made of stone. Okay. Can I go right? Okay, there we go. Alright. Bridge end. Okay. I'm gonna push it. Push it south. And push it south again. No cow magic. Push it west. Okay. Push west. And push. Push it north. It knocks something over. Right. Can't walk through this wall. <laughs> ah, there we go. And forward. I did it! Yay, I passed! I climbed the stairs and emerged from the dungeon, blinking in the sunlight. Congratulations, Stumbelda! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. Thanks. Wow, I'm back to zero. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. I guess I can go relax now. On Saturday morning, the mail and allowances are delivered. What should I do today? I'm going to the mall. I'm going to celebrate. Inside the mall, I stand, find Virginia standing around, rocking back and forth on her heels with a puzzled look on her face. What's up? I need to buy something. Like what? I don't know. Huh? It's Donald's birthday on Tuesday, and I have to give him something. I'd like to give him a rock, but my parents would think that was mean. Well, what does he like? I don't know. Worms? No, no, I don't think he does. Come on. No, really. Bugs and worms and toads and everything creepy. You could get him a bag of gummy worms. 
He doesn't really like candy that much. Oh my god. Why is he so hard to shop for? Are you sure you're related? She rolls her eyes at me. Don't you have any real suggestions? Uh, something musical? Oh yeah, that's right. He's in the choir, isn't he? Well, he's in Corral, right? So he probably likes music. Yeah, but with no CD players allowed at school. What about a music box? Those are okay, right? Something tinkly with ballerinas? Ew. It's not for you. I don't know. What about some kind of instrument? Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, I'll see you later. She wanders off to do her shopping. What should I do today? Let's see. Um... What about the magic store? Got anything good in the magic store? Uh, no, I do not want the furry set. Um... Well, crap. No, no. There's nothing here I want. I finish my shopping and join my fellow students to return to Iris Academy. Yay! Okay, well, I passed my first test! Yay! <laughs> Alright, folks. I will take a break here and see you next time. Bye-bye.